After this video, you are able to describe the strategy pattern, can rewrite existing code to use the strategy pattern, and decide if it is useful for you in your code. We have no time to waste, so let's start coding. I start by creating an employee class that has a name, salary and job title. I create three employees and print them in a loop. I execute the code. That works, but look at the code. This is duplicate code. It would be nice if the job title would be defined by the employee object type. For this, I need to subclass the employees like this. The job titles are now defined in the subclasses. I remove the job title from the employee class. And I replace the employee instances with manager and attendant. I execute the code again. I forgot one thing. I also need to call the getJobTitle function in the loop. That works again. Using inheritance solves the duplicate code problem. But inheritance can lead to other problems. Let me show you by adding another method to the subclasses. I'll add the work description to the print statement. That works. At this point, there are two methods in the subclasses. Get job title and get work. Let me put all the possible values in a matrix. Right now there are two subclasses. Manager combines the values from this column and Attendant combines the values from this column. So far, so good. Now I will add a second Attendant class. The job title is also Station Attendant, but this Attendant makes oil changes. Let me add the class to the system. That works. Now there is a station attendant that changes oil. But look at this. There is duplicate code again. And to make it worse, let me add another employee type that creates even more duplicate code. I added a junior mechanic that starts the career by changing oil, just like the station attendant. I add the mechanic to the list of employees and run the code. It works, but there is a lot of duplicate code at this point. 
Both the getJobTitle method as well as the getWork method have duplicate code. Here is an updated matrix. The interesting thing is that the duplicate code also shows up here. Now imagine adding more attributes. The combination of things grows exponentially. And for each combination, a new class needs to be introduced, adding even more duplicate code. Clearly, this is not the way to go. So we use the strategy pattern to solve this well-known problem. In the strategy pattern, the code that returns the values in the cells are called algorithms. Here we see six unique algorithms. The strategy pattern puts all these algorithms in separate classes. Once the algorithms have been put in classes, instances of algorithm classes will be assigned to employees by using composition. It sounds complicated, but that is only because of the terminology. When I show you the code, you will say, so you just create a variable and assign an object to it, right? And that is exactly what I will do. I start by deleting the subclasses. I replace the subclass instances with employees. Now I create the three job title algorithm classes. and the three work algorithm classes. What the strategy pattern really gives us is the flexibility to combine algorithms at runtime. For this, I change the employee class to also take instances of algorithms. Without having to add any employee subclasses, I can now create employee types at runtime, like this. I save and execute the code again. An error occurred. An employee does not have a getJobTitle method. This method is now in the JobTitle object. I'll add the JobTitle attribute. And do the same for the work attribute and run the code again. Very nice. You have now seen how to prevent duplicate code and plug in algorithms at runtime by using composition. Adding an algorithm does not lead to an explosion of the numbers of classes in the system anymore. When a new algorithm is added to the system, it can be plugged in to an employee at runtime. And that is what the strategy pattern is all about. Extracting algorithms which is just code with some behavior like doing something or returning something and put it in separate classes. These classes will be instantiated and assigned at runtime. If you spot a lot of similar classes with repeating code, you might have a candidate to refactor your code using the strategy pattern. I hope this helps you.